What's up, amigos? It's Chris Lewitt back with another Prodigy Maker Minute. As you may know, I'm the former number one for Cornell University, pro circuit player, elite junior development coach, and author and educator, author of the Tennis Technique Bible and the Secrets of Spanish Tennis. In this Prodigy Maker Minute, I wanna to talk to you about the biggest adult mistakes that I see in tennis, in tennis development. I'm known for working with juniors, but I do work with a lot of serious adults. And adults at all levels, in my opinion, make a lot of mistakes in their training and in their development. And this could be a very long video because there's a lot of mistakes. In fact, I think we'll do a top five or top 10 show on the mistakes that adults make typically. But the number one big one, and there probably could be a, a lot of big ones, but the big one that I had in mind for this Project Maker Minute is that adults tend to practice on their own without any objective data. And what I mean by that is you have some adults who are very passionate about getting better, very serious. They go out and practice every week, working on their serve, working on the forehand or backhand, trying to clean up their technique. But the problem is they don't have any objective data to support what they're doing. Mainly that can come from a coach, hopefully an intelligent, well-trained coach, professional coach who can give the adult good advice. And that is sometimes very, very hard to find if you're an adult. And if you're an adult watching this, you probably know that it's very difficult to find professional coaching if you're a serious adult. Most of the best coaches are working with juniors and they don't accept adults call. I'm not one of those people. I will accept your call. But uh, moreover, ad adults need to have, uh, if they don't have a coach, you don't have a professional coach watching you, giving you objective uh, observations, information, you need to work with video. And most adults do not do that. I see many adults practicing on the court, working very hard on their serve, working very hard with a ball machine or against the wall. And that's all well and good. That's awesome. It's great to put in that amount of work um, it's great to bring that kind of passion and intensity to the tennis court, but many times there's no video analysis. There's no way for the adult to know exactly what's happening with their technique or whatever they're working on. And that's where you need objectivity. You can't just go week in and week out by feel. Uh, oh, my forehand feels good today. Oh, next week, uh, the next week comes and the next week comes. Oh, it doesn't feel as good. I think I'll, I'll try this and I'll tinker with this and I'll try that. And to me, that's the biggest pitfall for adults. And I see adults going sideways for years and years because they're tinkering with this, trying this, maybe trying the latest tip that they saw on YouTube, not on my channel, but on other channels, you know, Adults always trying to get better, but they're not, they don't have the objective information to help them really understand if they truly are getting better or not, or if it's just a feeling. Because feelings are sometimes an illusion and feelings are transitory. One day you're hitting the ball, you feel good, and the next day it doesn't feel good, and here you are tinkering with this, tinkering with that. And you can just go sideways and plateau for many years or you can get frustrated with the game and maybe take a pickleball or something like that. But hopefully you don't take a pickleball, you stay with tennis, but give yourself some objective data. Take, set up a camera, set up your phone, hire a professional coach to help you, send your videos to, there's, there's lots of services now that can give you professional technical analysis, you know. So there's, there's ways to get help and objective information, but don't just go it alone where you're on the court late at night, working on the ball machine, hitting thousands of serves, and you don't know if you're doing it correctly or not, because if you go out and you do thousands of reps the wrong way, you can literally make yourself worse. You can practice week in and week out and get worse with your technique or your strokes or your movement or whatever it is you're working on. So that's probably the biggest one. I have a number of other ones on my mind that are big mistakes that adults make. We'll have to talk about that on another program. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this Prodigy Maker Minute. If you like this minute, please check out my big show, Prodigy Maker Show, my podcast. It's also a YouTube show. I would love to have you guys as an audience for that program as well. All right, guys, see you next time.